And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Kyle Gibson. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible Maybe job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, base. they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. New bar on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Johnny DeLuca. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring yeah. position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? One out, base is empty. The pitch. Got it by him for the play. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Now a chance for Christopher Morell. And a 2-1 on the way. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Ray's held in check here. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. Back after this on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, our starting pitcher in this one, Shane Baz. What do we need to know here? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. 2 2 now. Got him swinging. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Lowe has it sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. He was all 
over that one. Bad I can watch base hits like that one all day baseman. long, and no so way. could every hitting coach in the oh, league. Just no, a no. nice line drive into center field. Here's Nolan Arenado. Still two and two after the foul ball. Contreras leads off first with two down to the inning. That one ripped. That's down. One hops off the wall. Headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Back to back base hits. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing. Nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. So two down, Brendan Donovan. Next up for the Cardinals. Righty delivers. All two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. In the air, left field, low, ranging after it. Brings it in for the third out. Cards on the board with this double. It's now a one nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top of the second. Here's the left fielder, Josh Lowe. Popped up. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. This is Dylan Carlson. Raised down by a run here at the top of the second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And here's the catcher, Ben Wartvet. Gets the call. It's two and two. do it again it's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle of swing and a miss struck him out Rays go in order one two three still behind by a count of one to nothing Bottom half of inning number two. And here's the first, the first baseman, baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And a 1-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Fights that one away. Still 1-2. and two. And the right-hander deals. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher that wanted, exactly. but it worked. He got the, right the swing field. and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtbar. And now to an one. through there for a strike. 
Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. One down, base is empty. Popped in the air. Left field. Low has it sized up. And makes the grab. And there are two down. Batting eight. The second baseman. Two outs. Base is empty. And now Nolan Gorman. Two down. Nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. And another ball. In the air out towards right center. DeLuca under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Back here in St. Louis, top half of the third inning. And now the center fielder, Johnny DeLuca. So a man on base to start the inning. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't score up as much as he probably would have liked. But that's a good approach paying off. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now the shortstop, Taylor Walls. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. One ball. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Foul ball still a one and two count. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Foul tip, strike three. So up next, Curtis Mead. Right-hander kicks, deals. Aye. Got the back going too soon. It's strike right two. two Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And That's it's even up. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swinging. Two away. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner off, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Yandy Diaz now. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Here's a 1-1. One, one. There goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. DeLuca at second with two down. Pitch misses there. Now two and two. So the tying run at second. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Swing and a miss. And that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning.
bottom of the inning. And here's the rookie Parker. center fielder, number the 11. Fielder, Victor Gough. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. And ball another two. ball. Pitch misses, and a full count now. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. One gone, bottom of the third inning. That's good. So the batting order turns over. Mason Wynn now at the plate. That one hit to right. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Two up, two down. The batter, the designated hitter. Alex. And next is the designated Burleson. hitter, Alec Burleson. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped right center field, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. All over that one right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Board and up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Man at second. Right side, hard hit. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one left for the Cardinals, but they hold a 1 0 lead. here in St. Louis all set for the start of the, the inning now up for Tampa Brandon. Bay Brandon Lau wow. looking to get the tying run on base fouls it off still one and two Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Around first. Digging for two. Not in time. He's safe. A perfect example right there. Yeah, that plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Christopher Morell next to hit for the Rays. So the tying run at second. Swings through that one out in front that time. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Struck him out in the front door breaking ball. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. 
Man at second. And a yep, good eye there. At the belt and fires. Fall off foul. With the go-ahead run at the plate. Top half of inning number four. On the ground. Into the outfield base hit. Brill comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Dylan Carlson. Third, low, over at second with one down. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gorman throws on to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Up next for Tampa Bay, the catcher, Ben Wortbeck. And now the catcher comes up to here, Ben Wortbeck. So who's going to be the hero today? This could be the at bat that changes everything. And That's another ball. Two balls, one strike. Two two now. Helpful. Johnny DeLuca to bat next. Two outs with a runner at third. Hard hit left side. Tosses across the first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. A run on two hits and they leave one. We're midway in the fourth. All tied 1-1. Here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the fourth. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. Off the mark there. Two and one. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Now all leave it up. Hey. Got him! One out in the bottom of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. And the pitch. Got him! And now two gone. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. First baseman, Paul. Goldsmith. Two outs. And that's outside. And that's ball two. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Two down, nobody on. Here's a high fly ball out to center. He's got it, and that is that. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. And we're back. Here's the center fielder, Johnny DeLuca. Johnny DeLuca. Pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. And that one 
just missed off the outside edge. Well, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Fouled off. He was late. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Goes down looking. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two, he goes off speed, gets the out. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Taylor Walls is a 1 1. And that one fouled off. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swinging. That's the second out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Curtis Mead it digs in now. Just missed. in there at the knees. Thank you. Two outs. Line drive and that's a base hitter to right. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself base into base a base good base count. Base. That pretty much Yandy. split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that's the third out. One left for Tampa. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. And welcome back we to the ballpark. The now it's the right fielder, the right Lars fielder. Newtbar. Swing and that ball smashed on the line. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out far and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Here's Nolan Gorman. This guy's got good power with one swing. Three. He can win it for him. Hold strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. Well, big That's strikeout good. right there. Oh, and okay. maybe a little controversial Victor. with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the play today. One ball. Yeah, the batter now. Right. Number 11. With the winning run standing at second. Last half of inning number five. Oh, and this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Hitting a walk-off 
Playoff homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.